Bilam says about the Jewish people in Parshas Balak, Loihi beat oven be Yaakov Eloira, Amol be Israel, Hashem Alikavi Moyesros Malach boy. Hashem does not see iniquity, evil in Yaakov, doesn't see negative toil in Yisrael. Because God is with him. Ask us the Chidush in him. I don't understand. Since when Lehi Bitov and Be'yakov Lehi Ramu Bisto? Which title was Bilam reading? Les Din Velez Dying God sees every mitzvah and he sees every sin. He doesn't ignore the sins. He doesn't ignore the transgressions. Why mean Lehi Bitov and Be'yakov? Doesn't seem true. He notices. He scrutinizes. Ayin Roya. He's in Shemaz. This is a Din Vechesh. Ben Yesh Din. Yesh Dayan. Magid Lo Adem Asich. Chidush Arim says in Parshas Mishpatim, there's a very interesting halacha. A shoyal, a borrower. If I borrow something from you, I'm liable to pay it back no matter what happens. Whether it's stolen, whether it's lost, negligence, for sure. Even if it was an oinus, even if it was an unavoidable accident, I didn't do anything, I couldn't have protected it. There was some tsunami, was a freak of nature. You're a shoyal, call on Ashala, you borrowed it, you're using it, I want it back. You took my car, you can have every excuse in the world. I want my car back, you took my computer, give it back to me. There's one exception. But all of Imai, lo yishal. If I borrow not only the object or the animal, I also borrow the master, the one who owns it. He's also working with me. Then I don't have to pay. So him. Every one of us is a shoyel. We borrow everything. The soul is yours, and the body is yours, and the brain is yours, and consciousness is yours, and oxygen is yours, and my seventy trillion cells are yours, and my hundred billion neurons are yours. It's borrowed. We gotta pay back. But in Baal of Imai, if you know that Hashem is always with you, you're good to go. Then he says, That's Pshat. You know, when he doesn't see sin in Yaakov, Hashem Elokov Imai. And the Kedusha heard him says this. The great Sadikim said that whenever you sin, if you didn't lose Malchus Shemayim afterwards, your sin is forgiven. The greatest casualty of sin, he says, is not just the sin itself. It's what happens afterwards. The loss of the relationship. I feel like a piece of garbage. God hates me. God doesn't care about me. We detach. He says, that's where the tsara happens. Never doubt that the relationship is fully intact. Your value is absolute.